Hey everybody, welcome back. Sarah here, back with another plan with me. Oh yes, it is getting close to March. The weather is getting warmer. It's uh, three degrees Celsius, positive, not negative right now. So I am pretty excited. I missed the worst of the winter. I didn't have to go outside very much. I hermited inside, worked away on stickers, and like left the house maybe three or four times. So that is a like Kermit Achievement Award goes to a me. So anyway, I'm just excited it's starting to get warmer. And so I thought that it would be the perfect time to use the Frost and Flowers kit um, because it has, you know, it's got kind of a semi-spring but still semi-winter kind of feel. It's a nice transitional kit. And I love the colors on this one. It's my favorite. It kind of matches the um, Pantone's color of the year, ultraviolet. And I just love, I don't know, I love these boxes. So let's get into it. Do, do, do. I just think it's perfect. Wow. Okay, so this whole time Siri has been like taking note of what I said because I never stopped talking. So... I can help you search the web for achievement award. Go to help me. <laughs> What's exciting? It's starting to get warmer, so I thought it would be the perfect time to use the frosting flowers. Get it because it has, you know, it's got kind of semi spring, but still set my winter kind of feel. It's a nice transitional color. Oh my and I god! This one is my favorite. Kind of matches the color of the year ultraviolet, and I just love it. And I love this one. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Uh, I'm tearing up a little bit. Oh, that's good. Like, that's the problem with the watch is sometimes your wrist goes up and you hit the button and it starts to record what you're saying and be like, like Siri tries to help you. And I'm using the wrong one on the wrong side. Or am I? Am I? No, I just flip it around. There's no such thing as the wrong one on the wrong side, is there? Oh, that was funny. Anyway. So, I'm just prepping for the sale, trying to get some new stuff up. Of course, I don't know where my scissors are, so that's just gonna sit off the edge for now. Um, yeah, just getting new stuff in the shop. So, April and May monthly kits will be in the shop already by the time this video goes up. Also, I'm getting like a million texts because my work is texting me, my friend is texting me, and then I decided that it'd be a good time to film this video. Mostly because I keep delaying today, and by the time I stop delaying, it's gonna be like six o'clock at night. So we don't want that. We wanna get this done. Um, but yeah, so I wanna, ideally I also wanna have all the listings merged before the sale but we can talk about the sale after I do washi. I'll get through that real quick. recorded that for way too long so we'll see if I edit that out or not um let's see I'll put this one up here for the sale day so the great Canadian planner sale which is the one that I'm participating in will be start on the 23rd and it'll go until the 26th uh, there will be exclusive freebies for that um, and there will be some other things. I'm just kind of still solidifying the plan for the sale. So be sure to stay tuned in the Facebook group if you want details on that. Um, so go to my Facebook group if you want to uh, 
learn about specifically what my shop is doing or follow our Instagram. And as for in general, you can definitely check out the Great Canadian Planner Sale Facebook group for other shops that are participating. It's a really great sale for those of us who are in Canada because it can be um, pretty hard to find um, find sticker shops that uh, have good shipping costs in Canada. Like in terms of like the ones in the States are really expensive now. So definitely check it out. Either if you're in Canada, can Canada, 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 I almost said Canada, which is a place here in Ottawa. Um, but um, also if you're international, check it out because we tend to have better uh, international shipping rates as well. Just because it, in Canada, our packages count as letter mail still, so the rates are much cheaper, whereas in the States, they typically count as a package, which is why it costs so much to ship from the States to elsewhere. But yeah, other than that, I am just, I'm really loving these colors. I might have to use this kit more than once at some point. I really love these checklist boxes. I may have to make more like these that are like this cute ombre. Also, like ombre, but not just one color ombre. It's like a dual ombre because it goes from, instead of just going from dark blue to light blue, it's going from like a medium blue to like a kind of greenishy minty color or the purple to the kind of pinkish purple. So I really love that. I feel really hyperactive. Um, other than that, in my life, it's really just waiting for spring, to be honest. Uh, I haven't been driving a lot because I don't have winter tires and the roads aren't, like, fantastic if you don't have winter tires. So, um, for now, I'm just waiting for the weather to get better and then I'm going to start donating a whole ton of stuff in the apartment to get rid of it. Hopefully the hubby will be able to make it down soon to visit. We're talking about it. We're trying to figure it out, but uh, he might be here a lot less than I was hoping he would. So I may have to really do a lot of it myself and then just have him down at the end to come to take me with him. Um, but like we have to figure out so much. I have to get, uh, all the paperwork ready for our kitty Simon so that he can travel with us no problem and I need to just get rid of pretty much an entire two-bedroom apartment worth of stuff um, and I need to talk to my doctor about my prescriptions and what I'm gonna do with that like I all have I have full medical coverage in the state so I'm really lucky that that's kind of already already done and figured out and I have the cards for it or whatever but like I'll have to find a doctor when I get there and then oh, just so much so much stuff to just go through and a bunch of stuff that I probably have not even thought about yet and a lot of it is waiting like so I need to get rid of like all my furniture and stuff a lot of it I'm selling to my friend or giving to my friend a little bit of both but they don't have an apartment yet. They're probably getting one in April. So I have to wait until April before I really feel like happy that that's all gone and dealt with. But, um, and then, and then like my bedroom stuff, my parents are probably taking that. I think they're going to take it like, I think that the plan is they will take it That, um, sorry, oh, brain, melt, bubble, what? They're gonna take it like that last month that we're here. They're gonna take like basically all my bedroom, like my bed and all that jazz. So, yeah, so really I'm just waiting till spring and I'll, I think I'll start doing like haul of runs of donating stuff, which will hopefully help me feel a little less stressed about that because I kind of feel like I'm not really getting lots done. And then I need to kind of move everything over to my sister. She's currently she's currently shipping all the orders. Um, so she's got all the equipment in terms of that. But then I need to give her all of this lighting equipment and like this table so that 
because um, she'll actually end up starting to like list everything as well. So she'll photograph and list everything um, and really pretty much take over the shop for the most part. Um, she won't be designing the kits, but she'll be she'll be launching it. She'll be managing the Etsy side of things. And yeah, and then and then in that time, I'm also going to have to figure out there's going to be a few weeks where there's not going to be videos, just so you know, because I'm going to have to get all new equipment for filming, which is not a huge deal, but like I might have to give it a little bit of time and like get a table that I can actually film on. Either that or they will be um, really, really low quality because they'll be like filmed on my phone or something. But maybe we could do some live videos at that point if I'm able to where it could be more of a face to face where I'm on my couch planning and then we can, you know, people can ask questions if they make it to it at the right time and then it's more interactive. That could be fun. And then that way I can just film it on my phone or something like that. And I would just kind of do it. You wouldn't really see me doing it, but then I could show you it afterwards or whatever. But I probably will have a, not much to plan for the first little while down there because it will pretty much be like, okay, buy furniture. So <laughs> that's kind of it. And find some friends. <laughs> I know I have one customer who's really, really close to where I'm going to be living. So maybe we'll uh, meet up for some coffee and stuff like that. But um, I need to get into the Seattle planner group. So... I'm in one. I need to start like posting closer to the date. Anyway, I'll just put this weekend sticker down and then we'll get to uh, I'll get to some pen and then some deco. In terms of half boxes, that was quite the rant. Um, Thursday as always is filming plan with me um the 24th my friend is going to be having her birthday party here at my apartment so i'll put that down there uh on the sunday is productivity sunday and on the 21st or sorry the 23rd the sale starts but then also I'll be 12 years cancer free. So I do like to try and write that down and kind of remember that of like, hey, you know, you kind of could have died. Probably not given the kind that I had, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's important to remember of like, hey, don't remember that time where you like had no hair and stuff and no eyebrows and no eyelashes and you looked really scary for a little while. That was fun. <laughs> um, I had this photo in high school where I had like a fedora on. It was a yearbook photo and I was just so annoyed that I had to like do my photo knowing that I didn't like I you, you not everyone loses their eyebrows and eyelashes right away, but once you do, oh my god, it is it is it is rough after that. Uh luckily for me that that wasn't long because they actually fell out for me after I was done treatment, so they grew back in really fast, probably like a month or so. But I didn't even try, I didn't even try but like drawing eyebrows on or doing any of that kind of thing or like try putting on eyelashes or anything like that. I was in like a very kind of emo-ish stage. So I did put some black eyeliner on and stuff sometimes or like dribbled it down my face. Like it looked like I had black tears of death. But anyway, this, so there was just a photo of me with no eyebrows, no eyelashes, wearing a fedora. And I, I thought I looked like Freddy Krueger. So I like made a creepy face and I wish I could find it because it was hilarious looking. But um, anyway, that's my rant on that. I will do some pen. And then and then get back with some deco.
Okay, so pen is down, keeping it pretty basic. But let's see, I've got these from the Sticker Genie for planning. I think I'll use this one right there for that. Gotta reorganize my stickers because I've just been like collecting ones that are partially used in a, in a container. And then I've got some like some of them sorted by shop in here, and oh my god, it's just a mess. It's making, my desk is a huge mess, like this table is a mess. I need to get rid of some messes, like right now. So it's a good thing I feel like I have energy right now. Um, and this one I'm going to save for that. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, crudel for all the coffee on Tuesday because um, Monday is a holiday here in Canada, so yeah. Now I've got a bath time over here, so I'm gonna use one of these ones from Sticker Fever. Down for that, so cute. And uh, she's also in the Great Canadian Pillar sale for the record, so hello, go get some. Um, and then I've got uh, Gertie with a cup of motivation, aka coffee for my productivity Sunday. So I use a big one there. Gertie is really matching the theme, so I figured I had to use this sheet. And then also from Sticker Fever is for the sale. <laughs> I just love the little cute little face being like, ah, <laughs> for, the, for the Great Canadian Planner sale for that. Um, for making a nail appointment, I'm just gonna put one of these ones from the Sticker Genie down beside that, just so I remember. And then I figured I would put one of these ones down from Kino Prince for when I'm on vacation. And I'm actually gonna use this like, kinda tealy one. I was gonna use the purple, but then I thought, you know what, let's do that. Just to remind myself to not work too much. Although I am going to work on some social media stuff, but nothing too crazy. These are from Peppermint Stickers. And so this is just for laundry. Laundry on Tuesday. So I'm going to put that down. And I'm actually going to put, I'm going to put a couple of these here. I'm going to put the basket on top. thought that would be cute. I don't know. And then from Hello Happiness Co., I've got the Kaiwai Gurushi bag. So I can put that there on Sunday if I wanna get groceries. Um, this coffee was supposed to be for Productivity Sunday, so I don't need that anymore. And then for, I'm really trying to get better with social media in terms of for the business. So I've got these Instagram ones from Hello Happiness Co. And I'm just going to put those on um, the promote sale ones because that's probably where a lot of the promoting will be done primarily. So I'm just going to put that on there just so I remember and can see them quickly. And then other than that, I've got... Um, these happy ones from Craftrina for Emily's birthday, for her birthday party. That's gonna be in my apartment. Gotta party. I love when there's parties in my apartment because I can just go straight to bed and be like, bye. <laughs> and um, for cleaning the bathroom, I'm gonna use this one from Craftrina where it's just like, ugh, because maybe I should give the bathtub a big, a big scrub down. So that'll be appropriate. And then after that, it's pretty much just deco. Um, I might have some other like birthday ones I could use, but I won't. I won't do that. I've already got enough going on. So let's see. I like to always cover up the notes with a sticker, so that is done. And then let's see if I can be strategic about some of these ones to cover up some of these dots. Even though they're not too like they're not too out there. But at least we kind of cover it up a little bit. You know? You know what I'm saying? And then I'll put a little snowflake there too. And then other than that, we've just got like the little birds and stuff and some pretty flowers. 
And actually what I was looking for was my, um, my fuck cancer stickers from Anxiety Aids. So I need to track those down. So I'll do that. I'll take a break and, and do that quickly in a minute. But for now, I'll just put some of these guys down. Kind of make it a little pretty. Be a little bit of a like deco thing. Put a little blue flower on there too. A little, little bit of frost up here. Maybe the weather will even be good enough for my parents to start collecting sap for maple sugar boiling, even though I can't really eat it because it's not keto, but whatever um and then like i think that's pretty good to be honest i'm gonna put this one up here i like the cute little succulents and then i'll just find i'll just do a quick look around for birthday stickers and for my fuck cancer stickers so legit i was actually starting to freak out because i couldn't find my fuck cancer stickers and i started to get mad anyway but i've got um the ones from anxiety A's is the cat ones for when I get back to my apartment to give Simon lots of cuddles and the evil little laughing face because he's like, ha ha sucker. And then for Emily's birthday, I didn't find a birthday one quickly that I liked, but I like the happy birthday Harry cake. So I thought I would put that on because she might be doing a Harry Potter theme. I'm not sure, but I feel like that's appropriate. And... Then of course my fuck cancer stickers, which I pretty much only really get to use like once a year. We'll get to. <laughs> um, so I usually put a couple on there. Last time I put like four or five. That was a bit much. I'll put two. That's good. That's pretty good. That's 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 enough, right? But anyway, that's going to be it for this spread, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think of like this kit and if you like that if you like this like switching colors on the checklist thing or anything like that so I get feedback on what kind of stuff to do for new kits. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any comments, questions, anything like that. Be sure to join our Facebook group and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!